There are archaeological discoveries out there that have left scientists dumbfounded, inventions that occasionally paint a very different picture of our ancient world. Ancient inventions can be groundbreaking, giving us more insight into past cultures, people, and technology. Sporadically, researchers do find inventions that seem to be way ahead of their time, with a few of them almost impossible to recreate even with our modern technology. India The history of science and technology in the Indian subcontinent dates back to the earliest civilizations of the world. The Indus Valley civilization yields evidence of mathematics, hydrography, metrology, metallurgy, astronomy, medicine, surgery, civil engineering and sewage collection and disposal being practiced by its inhabitants. Among them is culture and tradition. This is the land of many religions and the birthplace of Buddha. The life story of the Buddha begins in Lumbini, near the border of Nepal and India, about 2,600 years ago, where the man Siddhartha Gautama was born. Although born a prince, he realized that conditioned experiences could not provide lasting happiness or protection from suffering. After a long spiritual search he went into deep meditation, where he realized the nature of mind. He achieved the state of unconditional and lasting happiness. The state of enlightenment, of Buddhahood. This state of mind is free from disturbing emotions and expresses itself through fearlessness, joy and active compassion. For the rest of his life, the Buddha taught anyone who asked how they could reach the same state. After his enlightenment, Buddha traveled on foot throughout northern India. He taught constantly for 45 years. People of all castes and professions, from kings to courtesans, were drawn to him. He answered their questions, always pointing towards that which is ultimately real. Throughout his life, Buddha encouraged his students to question his teachings and confirm them through their own experience. This non-dogmatic attitude still characterizes Buddhism today. The death of the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, has been depicted widely in Buddhist iconography. The Buddha is generally shown with a serene or smiling expression, lying on his right side and resting his head on his right hand. This story from India is set between about 450 and 250 BCE. In those times the kings were Ajatashatru and Ashoka. King Ajatashatru was well known for having his engineers build new inventions for war. These included mechanical war chariots that had spinning blades and powerful catapults, weapons that could throw rocks at the end. When Buddha died, the king wanted to take good care of the holy man's remains. These remains were a great treasure. The king hid them in an underground cave. This cave was close to the capital city of Pataliputra in northeastern India, where the king lived. Normally, great treasures would be guarded by statues of giant warriors. But in this story, the guards of Buddha's remains were amazing. They were robots. The people didn't call them robots. They called them Buddha Vahanayanta, this means spirit movement machines. It was said that the robots that guarded the Buddha's relics, would stay there until a future king spread the Buddha's precious relics through the kingdom. Hindu and Buddhist writings from India tell us that the robots that guarded the Buddha's relics, whirled around like the wind. They also attacked anyone who came close with their swords. Some stories tell us that water was used to make the robots move. Others say they were made by the Hindu engineer god, Vishvakarma. Because the relics and the robots were hidden away from people, they were forgotten. 200 years after King Ajatashatru died, King Ashoka ruled the powerful Mauryan Empire from the capital city of Pataliputra. This was the same city where Jadashatru had ruled. This new king made buildings all over the kingdom to store the relics of the Buddha. The old story says that Ashoka knew about the legends of the original hidden relics. He kept searching until he found the underground cave. The robots were still guarding the relics. Ashoka battled with the robots. There are different stories of what happened next. In one story, the god Vishvakarma helped Ashoka beat the robots. The god shot arrows in the bolts that kept the spinning parts of the robots together. In the end, Ashoka beat the robots. King Ashoka is said to have redistributed the relics in 84,000 stupas. It is possible the story of the robots that guarded Buddha's relics, combined the real and make-believe technology from the time of Kings Ajatashatru and Ashoka. This story shows that the idea to make robots goes back to diverse cultures in the ancient world. It is also a wonderful example of the connection between science and imagination. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for latest updates.